Hi, this is Joe again, back with another ProRip tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at preparing artwork for use in ProRip. Sometimes your customer might send you a JPEG image, and JPEGs we know are not the best choice for transfer printing because they have a background, and typically they're pretty low quality. Um, so we can resolve all of that in ProRip and use this image. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's bring in an image. This is just a simple sample logo. You'll notice that my version of ProRip, I configured the background to be blue, and that helps me identify when my image has a background. So this logo clearly is not really usable uh, in ProRip the way it is. So let's edit it. I'm going to go over to Jobs, and then Production Plugins, and Knock Me Color Out. And you'll see the software automatically tries to identify what color you want to knock out. In this case, it picked white already. Um, which is perfect because that's what we want to remove. If you wanted a different color, you could just come up here and pick whatever you like. And you could see in ProRip, you see it just pulled that little bit of red out. Or if you want to pull this black out, there you go. We'll pull the white out. Click OK. And you can see the background was removed pretty easily. But let's say we want to crop this a bit because we don't want this bottom portion in there. We could just come down, hit the crop button. And then you can adjust the borders pretty easily. You want to get that as tight as you can. No need to have extra. And click create. And it's as easy as that. It's cropped. Now if I want to duplicate this, and maybe I'm doing left chest pocket designs, there's a ruler built in, so you can see just about how big it is. So I want this one around two and a quarter inches or so. Now, if I want to fill this whole page up, you could do it in your art software, but you could do it easily in ProRip as well. Just click Copies, and you'll see it'll duplicate. And if I want to go more, just pull it over again. And you can drop it down as well. So it's pretty simple. Now, if I want to add a little space between those logos, I just come down here, just click the up arrow, and then click this one. And then I'm going to click this button here, which is center on the page. Now all of my logos are centered. And there you go. Really simple, quick way to remove the background, crop the image, and duplicate it across the page, ready for printing. You just click this little button here, and out your print job comes. Okay, until next time.